Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and we are back once more with the Lenovo Yoga 15 because I figured I would hook up my uh, fancy new Thunderbolt enclosure here. And if you missed my eGPU video, definitely check it out because what we've got inside of this is a GTX 1070 GPU. And when we plug this into a Thunderbolt port on a Mac or a PC, uh, we get to use this as a graphics card externally from the laptop. And before we uh, tried it on the 13 inch variant of this Yoga laptop, that did not have a GPU. Uh, now we've got it plugged into this one with a GPU. I disabled the display here to see what our performance will look like and uh, we'll get a feel for what this Thunderbolt port can do on this device. And I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that this laptop is on loan from Lenovo. We'll be sending it back to them shortly after this video is concluded. And I purchased the eGPU enclosure with my own funds, uh, but the GPU inside of it came from PNY, also free of charge. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. Now I heard from more than a few people that said they were hearing that the Thunderbolt port here on the 720 15 inch was running slower than it was on the 13 inch and uh, they were saying that there was only two lanes of PCI Express data going over the Thunderbolt port versus four on the 13 inch model. In other words, it was running slower on this one than on the 13 inch. However, in my testing, it's identical. So let's take a look first at GPU-Z, which is a utility to give you an idea as to what you've got inside of your computer. And if you look over here on the bus interface, uh, we're coming in at four lanes running at uh, PCI Express 3.0, the identical uh, performance that we got out of the 13 inch model. And that was a good sign there. And then I took it a step further and ran uh, the 3D Mark Time Spy test, which is what we ran on the 13 inch with this exact same enclosure with the exact same GPU inside. And the scores played out identically, actually, or pretty close to it. I got a score here of 4,771 on the 15 inch model, uh, but the graphics tests are really what we wanna focus on because that is uh, making the most use of the GPU and the connection between the GPU and the computer. So on test one, we are pretty much within the margin of error here, 34 and a half frames per second on the 15 inch model, 34 uh, even on the 13 inch. On the 15 inch model on graphics test two, we're just slightly under the 13, but I think that's still within the margin of error there. And the one area where the 15 does better is on uh, the physics test, which is CPU intensive. And this one has a much faster CPU. It's got an Intel i7 chip, uh, which is a quad core chip versus a slower dual core i5 on the other models. So there, that's where our score is getting a bit bumped up here on the 15 inch. But nonetheless, the Thunderbolt port here, at least insofar as this GPU is concerned, is performing the same. So if you were thinking about buying this for its Thunderbolt port, at least as far as I can see here with an eGPU, the performance will be identical to what you'll get on the 13 inch when you're plugged in. So let's take a look now at a real world gaming example. We've got Rocket League running here at full settings at 1080p, the exact same settings we were using before on the 13 inch uh, with the exact same eGPU and graphics card inside of it. So let's take a look and see how it performs. And I am seeing pretty much the same performance, which is what I would expect. I'm maybe seeing less dips below 60 frames per second on this one, just given that we have a slightly faster CPU here. So uh, not consistent, just like the other one wasn't consistent, but it's the same performance, which leads me to think that we're not seeing any issues here with the Thunderbolt port at all. So I think you will uh, not have any penalty here with this Thunderbolt port on the 15 uh, versus the 13, which is what I wanted to try out here in this video. And that's definitely the case. The other thing folks were writing in about was whether or not you could charge over that uh, Thunderbolt port on here because some of these ports on some of these computers, not all, uh, allow you to do charging in addition to data and video. Unfortunately, on this one, that is not the case. I tried a whole bunch of different power adapters. I had a, a dock on a new monitor we're going to be looking at a little later as well. Nothing charged this through uh, that Thunderbolt port. So there is no power delivery over this. You do need to connect up the power adapter to get that to work. So if you're looking at a USB type C or a Thunderbolt dock, you can certainly use the dock. It just won't provide any power to the laptop. You will need to have to plug in a second cable, namely the power cable, uh, to get everything uh, charging on this device. But uh, good to see, at least at least in my testing, the Thunderbolt port here doesn't feel hindered at all. So you should be getting the full performance. And I've been uh, really fascinated with this eGPU stuff. So you're going to be seeing more of this on the channel as opportunities present themselves. Because I think it's pretty cool that you can uh, have a laptop that's fairly portable, especially in the case of the 13 inch that we looked at. Yet you can come home, plug it into this enclosure and get uh, desktop-like performance out 
out of the same computer. I think that's pretty cool. May not always be practical for everybody, but I do think there is a place for this technology, and uh, we'll be seeing a lot more of this as time goes on. So that's going to do it for the 15-inch 720. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up this week on the channel, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I've got a lot of cool things on the way. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, Brian Miller, Mr. Morse, and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.